Greetings and salutations, everybody. It's your old buddy Hawkboy coming at you here in the year 2023. It's my first video of the year. Um, and of course, 2022 saw the end of season six of Rick and Morty, one of my all time favorite cartoons, and it got me thinking about making. Uh, a little video series here so the next eight videos probably that you see here on this channel are going to be dedicated to a Rick and Morty tier list system I'm gonna do it kind of like a tournament I'm gonna collect all the winners of every single tier list and then you know pit them off against each other until we get the best and the very worst of Rick and Morty so we're gonna do this uh, episode by episode see where we go from there uh, let's see now. Um, oh, I'm seeing right away that my lists are a little bit off. I'm going to try to put this in order and we're going to rank them as they appear in the original series. We're going to rank them Wubba Lubba Dub Dub, and that's going to be their highest tier stuff. Squanchy, I think I might, this one might switch uh, to the next one, but Squanchy in this list anyway is the second tier stuff. Uh, Get Swifty. Show me what you got. Yes, that's going to be our uh, just under tier there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say Get Swifty is still going to be good stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure that any, I, I really hate any uh, thing on this uh, list. So it's going to be hard to rank them. But I'm going to try to at least get the best two and the worst two of every season uh, separated wheat from chafe, so to speak. And of course, the lowest rank, and these would be the eh average probably still funny probably still all will have uh, some merits but these ones are not my favorite episodes and that's lick 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 my balls all right let's take a look see here uh we're gonna start up with the pilot of course getting those uh seeds in there you know what everybody's gonna you, you might not like me for not wanting to put it right up in the lubba dub dub i know it did start something big but you can still see its rough edges and it, it cleaned up so quickly mid-season next one i'm going to just put it in the squanchy because it is relevant it is important it's got those huge seats that morty put up his ass and that was a lot of fun all right let's jump right back into the next one season two which is almost was almost the spin-off apparently that's when the sentient dogs and stuff are taking over uh i'm also just going to put that in the squanchy area not 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 a bad episode kind of fun um uh snowball is a character that came and went really quickly uh, I don't know if we were supposed to fall in love with that character. I don't think so. But you still see pictures around the house even in later seasons and stuff like that of Snowball in the background every once in a while as they walk by. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, Anatomy Park be the next one. Season 1, Episode 3. Um, I'm putting this way up here in the Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. I'm not saying for sure that it's going to be our winner. Uh, we want two winners, of course. Um... But, uh, and, and, and I'm going to remind you that no, uh, no tier list is complete until it's complete. All right. I have a right to move it around as much as I like. If I don't like the way it balances out, I'm going to move it. Anyhow, it's up here. That's where, uh, they go do that uh, inner voyage thing and they go to a theme park. So it kind of combines the Jurassic Park and that fantastic voyage. And they, uh, they go inside a, a, a homeless guy. Uh, uh, who's got a theme park inside him. It's a uh, kind of weird and grotesque and uh, very, very funny episode. So I enjoyed that quite a bit. All right, let's see. Uh, episode four. Oh, M. Night Shmaleons. That was a really good one. That was like one of those like mindfuck episodes. Yeah, and also had some really good uh, voiceover work going on in there. Um, is it better than Anatomy Park? I'm going to say no. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, let's see, uh, episode five, episode, ooh, episode five is right up here, man, uh, me seeks, me seeks, all right, I'm gonna put it right over here, sorry, it's definitely beating the, the, uh, Anatomy Park episode, the me seeks episode there, um, that's, uh, called me seeks and destroy, Oh, I keep forgetting, I, I do have the names of all these episodes, uh, like, uh, Lawnmower Dog, and the number one there is just called The Pilot. So, again, it, the pilots are always kind of boring, and if you can if you can make a pilot work and you get to sell, sell somebody on your show based on your pilot, then more power to you, you did it. Alright, let's see, uh, Rick Potion number nine is the next episode, uh, and that is where Morty, 
uh, is gets a spell to try to get Jessica to like him. It infuses with this flu and starts to go nuts. And then Rick tries to cure that and turns everybody Cronenberg and it destroys the world. And I'd say uh, almost definitely is my favorite episode in season uh, in season one. So that's definitely going right up here at the top of the list. Okay, let's keep looking here. Uh, what we got next is uh, Raising Gazorpazorp. That's where Morty gets the sex robot and has uh, and, and, and it creates an alien baby with four arms and kind of a little sub-genre culture kind of thing. It's referenced several times and also does uh, uh, Rick going to this home planet with Summer. So we see Summer on our first mission. It's just gets whiffy for me. Gets whiffy. So eh, it's all right. But gets whiffy. All right, let's see now. Um, what do we got next here? Oh, oh. Now this is gonna be controversial. I, you know what? Everybody's like internet, interdimensional cable, interdimensional cable. It's interdimensional cable is pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's bad. It's pretty good, but uh, I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like it was amazing. So I'm gonna put it here and get Swiffy. It's way down the way down the line. Go ahead, throw hate on me in the comments. I dare ya. I dare ya. Okay. Uh, next, uh, this one here. It just it was very formulaic. It's still funny. Still had a lot of great references. If you like Stephen King, that's where it was sort of like a lot of the the other stuff in this list is very sci-fi oriented, and this kind of went towards this horror oriented. It's like it went after a different genre than some of the other ones, and maybe what people are used to. Although I do think it's a very um, um, a diverse show when it comes to what kind of t uh, subject matter it goes after. So, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, uh, then we got, uh, uh, episode 10, Close, uh, Rick Counters, The Rick Kind. That was something Rick had comes this way. This is when we start getting all these puns, by the way. That was that, uh, that devil one. Something Rick had comes this way. The first, uh, one that I officially put in the lick, lick, lick of my balls, uh, tier. Okay, uh, what did I say was next? Oh yeah, close uh, Rick counters of the Rick kind. This is where we first get introduced to the idea of the Citadel and all the Ricks and the alternative universe Ricks and that there are a lot of them and stuff like that. And Morty's and we see all these alternatives. It's like interesting builds and switch ups and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this one was pretty good. I'm going to put this up here in the Squanchy. And... Uh, Season 11 is Rick's Key Business. Rick's Key Business. Now I'm going to say Rick's Key Business was, uh, it was all right. It was all right. We got introduced to Bird Person, Tammy, some other characters there. Um, Adolf, um, the, the Hitler clone, uh, the, the Lincoln, -ler. I don't know. I can't remember their name. Actually, it wasn't that interesting. Okay, I'm going to put him in the Get Swifty pile over here. And of course, I need two uh, two bad guys uh, for the next round because uh, I want to do uh, two and two. So I want two of the best, two of the worst. So here we go. I'm moving it down the way. Okay, risk ski business. Of course, that was like the party episode. Uh, it, again, it was it was all right. There were uh, again there were some funny things. They did the Rick dance, which became kind of iconic right away. I remember just about every episode in this season though is is kind of got some real. Uh, uh, iconic moments it's like you to ask any real simpsons fan uh about the first couple seasons and they know every episode because the first couple seasons they saw it all and then when and then when there's like 70 episodes later this is also why this is not one big video this is a series of videos because i'm not doing a 70 item tier list all right so this is our list uh the ones that we're going to be moving over i'm just let's just take one last look here yeah, I think this is pretty good because I think the Meeseeks was a very interesting character thing. Uh, really got to uh, got to know the family. We didn't get to know the family as much, and then the whole nature of how it can all go wrong in the uh, in the Rick Potion number nine definitely was uh, was a big one there. And uh, down at the bottom here is going to be. I know some of you people are. I know people are, are seething. They're like, "This is the most creative thing." It was a lot of ad libbing. It was funny. But it was just a lot of ad-libbing and it's like everything that should have been thrown on the cutting room floor, like uh, Justin Roiland laughing, uh, got put, worked into the video somehow. So, so there's get serious, not taking itself serious and taking itself too unserious for us to take it seriously. Uh, but again, 
not a bad episode. Still funny. I'd watch it again. Uh, and, uh, and something wicked this way comes. All right, so I hope that uh, starts us off good. Ten minutes, uh, just past the ten-minute mark, so I think that's uh, a good start-off point. Uh, keep uh, tuning in. We've got uh, uh, five more seasons to look at, and then we are going to look at the uh, best and the worst of each tier list, and we're going to compare those to make a master, super, awesome tier list. I'm Hawkboy, and I am back. It's good to see you all. Thank you for watching. Toodles.